around, get acquainted, see how we do things. It's time for another two minute tech tip. My name is Frank Infus and I'm from the Oracle Digital Assistant Product Management Team. In these two minutes I will talk about using resource bundles in an Oracle Digital Assistant conversation. Now, using resource bundles is a very common development practice in software development. So let's have a look at the demo. So here we see a dialogue. So I'm asked for my name, I provided the name, and then it welcomes me with my name and asks me how I'm doing. Now what we don't see is where the strings are coming from. So if we close this dialogue and we go to the dialogue flow, then you see that where it prints the message, it references, first of all, a variable. I will come to that. It passes a key and then the name that I provided as an argument. If we look here in the dialog flow, you see that there's a variable defined of type resource bundle with the name RB. Now the name is up to you, but the type has to be resource bundle. And then if I click on this icon here, this is the environment in which you can create resource bundles to be used in a skill. Now I have one key defined, which is welcome one and have two languages. Now to create a new key, I simply press this button here, provide a new key, and then provide the translations. And if I wanna create a new language, then I simply need to put in the language code and then start adding values for the different keys. Here I have an example where actually I use different languages. So we've seen English, so let's choose German. And you see it's now picking the German version of the key. So the benefit of resource bundles, besides of having everything in a single place, is that you can use translated strings as well, and you don't need a translation service for that. Was that a good tip? I'm happy about it. We want your opinion. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.